of the countless spots in the state of New Jersey that could potentially be haunted, the landmark Jersey City Lowe's Movie Palace is probably at the top of the list. Patterned after the grand opera houses in Europe, these elaborate, decadent movie palaces sprang up all over the United States in the 1920s and have attracted millions of audience members, all in the pursuit of the ultimate escape. When I found out I was going to be documenting the first annual Saturday Nightmares Horror Expo at the Landmark Lowe's, I felt like a kid in a candy store. From its gothic, original moldings and creepy faded tapestries to the massive 3,000 plus seat proscenium stage theater, I knew I had my work cut out for me. My camera in tow, I slowly made my way up several darkly lit stairwells and into a seemingly endless series of pitch black hallways. Somehow, I was determined to make my way to the roof, where I had a date with a dragon. I knew that covering the expo was going to be a big deal, but I'm not sure I knew just how big. That is until I saw the rush of luminaries filing out onto the stage one after the other for the panel discussion hosted by Roy Frumkus. If the audience reaction alone was a gauge, history was clearly being made that day.
Maybe they spelled it wrong or something. Well, I'm sure he's telling them yeah. different ways. Hey, what's... Oh, great. Okay, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Matt can go to sleep tonight. The things you never okay. expect. No. <laughs> okay, thanks. So it's good? Mm-hmm. Actors Well, I want to make a better sign. I make sure there's enough chairs by each table. I said chairs back here. Thanks for helping me, Dad. Yeah. <laughs>